So today um, I want to talk to uh, you guys about a uh, uh, financial thermometer. Now, before we begin, I just want to introduce uh, uh, this uh, concept about uh, um, people, who they are and what makes uh, uh, them be who you actually see on the surface. So we'll illustrate this uh, by looking at uh, the Titanic. If you look at uh, the sea here under uh, an iceberg, which is on the surface, which is what you actually see on the surface, the biggest chunk of the uh, the foundation and the bedrock of this iceberg, which you see on the surface, actually lies underneath here. Yeah, everything is actually underneath, and this is what the Titanic actually find out because uh, all they could see is this. But the biggest uh, uh, bedrock which actually uh, sunk the Titanic was actually underneath here. So this is actually the same with people. So if you take uh, um, Alex, for example, this is me here. What do you see on the surface here in terms of uh, uh, you know my dealings with anyone and the character and the values actually has been built up and the foundation is all underneath here. And this is actually made up of the, the environment you know, that uh, people or anyone has grown up uh, with, as well as the beliefs, yeah, and uh, beliefs and the values that have been instilled with them uh, as they have grown up uh, in this environment. And uh, the interesting thing is that these beliefs and values actually get to be instilled in people and actually get to be set into the subconscious around the ages of uh, seven, eight, and nine. Yeah, and these things are actually happening in most cases subconsciously. So, whether the parents or grandparents or people who are actually surrounding the kids are actually consciously teaching the kids this or unconsciously teaching them these are the things that actually get to be instilled in them as the values and the beliefs that make them as they grow up and and, and become adults and grown-ups yeah and um, it, it actually means that they're getting these beliefs and values you know without actually asking for them you know it is actually things and process that are happening you know whether they like it or not so they have actually have no choice in what it is that they get to believe or, or understand or become their values. And this is actually what is going to shape their future eventually when they grown up. But something that they actually had no choice about, it was just what actually get to be instilled with them as children growing up values and the environment. So it could be, for example, uh, you know, some parents who still into instill in their children that uh, when they look at people driving fancy cars, having big houses and all of that, that, uh, you know, that is a bit uh, extravagant, you know, you can just have a little and give a, a lot of the money to, or, or some money to charity and help people who are not well off, who are poor, just be modest and live within your means. Those are important beliefs that are being instilled in the children and uh, as they are growing up and that becomes their values and the beliefs that, you know, you have to be modest, you have to help people, you have to help the, uh, the poor and everything else around you. And that is what gets to be the setup in those children as they grow up. Nothing wrong with that, but we're just clarifying and stating that that is what when the, uh, the children grow up will be what will, will be a uh, uh, forming and setting up as the foundation and the core beliefs and values that actually make them up yeah and you could have a, a, another parent for example who in their children they instill that you know you have to go out there you know be successful you know make a lot of money uh you know either as a, a successful entrepreneur or a very good job so that you know the more money that you make the more you can give to charity the more help to other people that is also a different set of belief, but, uh, you know, each one, nothing wrong with each one, but whatever it is that uh, the environment, the parents, the grandparents, and the people who are, the children are growing up in, whether they like it or not, and it is not something that they have chosen, is being instilled in them as beliefs and values, and they'll find out what the consequences of that is in the future when they start to actually develop and read and understand what it is that they now want to do and pursue in their life uh, as uh, uh, independent adults or grown up grown, grown ups yeah so that is quite key to understand that you know these values and beliefs will actually 
you know, form the character and the beliefs and the reality of people and will get to actually be seen on the surface by, by people through their interaction with society. But the actual foundation and the bedrock all sits underneath here from the beliefs in the environment that they've grown up. Now, why is this relevant? It's relevant from the point of view that when you look at uh, your uh, financial thermometer, it's right here, so financial thermometer, it's uh, in the concept that um, every single person as they are growing up, they will have a figure in their mind as what is the right figure that, you know, when they get to study, go to university, do a degree uh, in whatever field, whether it's uh, finance or uh, engineering or law or, or anything that they set up with, they will have a figure in their, in their mind of how much a year or, or a month, whatever, to actually make, which is their value, and that is a comfortable figure to make. So if you have a range, let's say this is between uh, 40K and 60k yeah so in someone's mind anything amount that you're earning within this is their financial thermometer so in their mind this is their worth this is their value if they are making this kind of money you know they can support their family they can live within their means they can uh, you know live in a good house you know a good good happy family uh, beyond their means they can have uh, within their means and they can have a uh, good holidays you know good cars a nice car and a good family and they can live a good life yeah that in their mind is their financial thermometer yeah yeah that's the financial thermometer so you know whatever they are working towards you know they go to school they study they even aspire to a particular job or particular something that when they get to it will earn them this yeah and that will uh, give them a good comfortable life to live in so no problem with that nothing with that the issue comes when at some point they actually can get to earn or target and get into money which is beyond their financial thermometer so what happens here they start to feel that they are earning well beyond their means well beyond their financial thermometer yeah and uh, you will find that this is where they get into issues of uh, uh, probably at some point mess 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 things up and they get back into their financial thermometer you don't do um, uh, things that uh, you need to do in order to maintain here you know maybe you don't work hard enough for example if I uh, take a, a, a property investor or someone who is doing a, a sourcing business maybe to source properties for other people or anything yeah so they get into uh, this zone maybe they've sold a uh, uh, hundred deals uh, uh, a year or whatever yeah when they get to be breaking through this yeah that extra is not adding or giving them any uh, 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 it, it's beyond the financial thermometer so what happens they are not as enthusiastic or as careful or as organized to take care of the things beyond here so for example that extra phone call from another new client you know you, you don't follow it up or you don't get organized enough you don't uh, uh, return that phone call or you don't organize anything until all of that falls away and you're back into the financial thermometer yeah so it becomes a very difficult for those people to actually maintain uh, going beyond the financial thermometer they don't do the necessary things that you need to do in order to break through because as soon as uh, you get here it's well above in your subconscious what you are worth yeah well above you know what your financial thermometer is so by the time you get back there's nothing else uh, wrong with your back into your comfort zone with your good house your um you know good holidays and everything else that you have set out in your subconscious so in here from your beliefs and everything that has been instilled in you you have set out your subconscious to deliver you this and your subconscious has gone out because that's the instruction that you have given and the subconscious has given you the results of that because that's what you have asked for anything beyond that it just brings yourself back yeah so is this is relevant in the concept that if you're looking to break through these barriers yeah you need to set your 
financial thermometer really up high yeah because that will set your subconscious to get to work in order to deliver you that big financial thermometer this is where you have to place your worth because if you're placing your worth that you are only worth this amount that's what you get you know um, but if you bless your financial thermometer to let's say you know a million uh, dollars and beyond you know even five million or or anything above that yeah it means when you're doing whatever it is doing let's say in the in the sourcing uh, for example you know the more clients that you're getting you're going to be inspired and uh, you're going to be inspired and enthusiastic to actually deliver for each one of them so you're going to follow up then with that phone call you're going to uh you know get uh, uh those meetings set up you know that email followed up and all of those things followed up because in your mind and in your subconscious your target and your thermometer is that high which means you do anything and everything possible to actually get you to that high thermometer point yeah uh, but um you don't get bogged down in this zone whereby you know you have arrived and everything is comfortable but if this is your comfort zone and that's your um financial thermometer well beyond your wildest dreams you are going to do those things that are really required and necessary in order for you to get to that financial thermometer level that you have set yourself up so uh this is a uh, uh, just wanted to clarify that for people who have over time you know programmed themselves and believed themselves into this region it can be very difficult once they break that through uh to into uh, realms of money that uh, they hadn't programmed themselves into it's very difficult for them to grasp or fathom or contemplate because to them that is money that is not worth to them it's like extra money beyond their their worth but if you raise your belief of how much and what you are worth yeah beyond that that's when you actually believe and get to understand that you are worth a lot more than this but if you don't change that makes it very difficult because you find yourself here and you're back down you find yourself here you're back down because you don't consider this to be your worth you don't consider any amounts beyond this uh, um at the moment that you self uh, you you've uh, set for uh, for yourself to be worth yourself so you are actually valuing yourself less so increase your financial thermometer and your subconscious will go the how will find its way out to actually get you there and when that is happening you will do all those necessary things in order for you to actually get there you know so either it's the sleepless nights the phone calls in the night you're going to take those the meetings far away from your place you are going to travel and meet those clients because your thermometer is that high if you are this low you know you don't see the benefit or the value of the worth of you know having to go hundreds of miles to meet a client in order to do something or strike a deal because for you you have arrived you are in this zone so this can be difficult for you to uh, amass vast portions or vast amounts of money and the mentality and the mindset can be a blockage for you to break through that barrier if you set yourself your financial thermometer in this and unless and unless and until you actually become conscious of this concept of financial thermometer this can just be bringing you down so this is where you find people uh you know five years from now they are still earning about 60 70 or thereabouts you know even thereabouts you know 10 years from now they are still earning about the same money 20 years from now they are still earning about the same money because that is their financial thermometer that they have set themselves up because whenever they get to break that they bring they calm themselves down but because within themselves and in their mindset that is actually enough because they are living according to what they believe is their worth which is those kind of amounts of money because they can manage their family the good holidays the good house and all of that so their financial thermometer is set in there so even in 5 10 20 years they are around there they are comfortable they are happy they've achieved what it is that they wanted to achieve but if you are someone who has realized this and would like to make that breakthrough then this awareness this understanding is very important because you know that now you need to shift your mentality 
shift your uh, thermometer to amounts beyond your wildest dreams because of the how will then get taken care of itself you will find that you know that extra client you know that extra opportunity that is around the corner you identify it because ah yes because that is in line with what you are looking to do whereby before you wouldn't even notice that that was an opportunity or that is something that will take you to where you need to go but when you are in the zone with your high thermometer then you are there, you are noticing what's happening around you, you're conscious of that uh, something that's happening to you. For example, you know, you go out to dinner, you know, you are supposed to pay uh, a lot of money for everyone and someone has offered to pay. You realize now you've got that extra cash that you can now put into savings or an investment, whereby before you would have probably used that money to do something else rather than saving it. But now because you are in the zone of doing other things and you've raised your finances at the moment, you can go well and beyond in terms of your inspiration and your enthusiasm in order to actually get to where you need to be. So in some way it is uh, quite key to understand that the bedrock and the beliefs and the values and the environment that people have grown up in will actually set it, uh, set them up uh, as, as uh, the characters and the, the, the mindset and the beliefs that they become to be, which is what people will see on the surface when you get to talk to them, when you get to converse with them. Uh, it's only that, that, that bit you see on the surface, but the foundation and the bedrock is actually underneath within them internally, which is the, those beliefs which have been instilled with them since they were children, since they were kids, you know, around seven, eight, nine, you know, from their parents, the grandparents and everyone around them. And if that has set them up, a specific uh, financial thermometer which are uh, in them growing up if uh, you know living a modest life you know just having a good house a nice car and holidays is enough then they will have set themselves up a financial thermometer of you know which is modest and when they get into there they are comfortable they are happy they've achieved it so it's difficult to break through so it is important to understand those two concepts that you know when you get to look at yourself and what has happened over the last you know five ten years you see that you are the you know thereabouts in terms of your earnings and you haven't really progressed much it's because of where you've set your financial thermometer but if you begin to understand that concept and break that you know begin to look at ways how you can uh, uh, get rid of that mindset or get rid of those uh, beliefs which is you know can be quite uh, uh, hard uh, sometimes to actually break through those beliefs which have been instilled in you as a child yeah to get to understand that it's not wrong or there's nothing wrong to actually amass vast fortunes because the more you make the more you can give as well rather than looking at more su uh, successful people as people who are greedy or you know um extravagant when they can actually do some something better with their money you find that those people are actually the ones who are actually giving more uh, to charity or other causes so that your mentality now starts to shift and once you begin to make that shift you can raise your financial thermometer and start to pursue other things so that you know when you are in that realm of 40 to 60 or whatever that is not enough you haven't arrived which means you get to uh, take those actions, take those opportunities which are out there because by the time you break into there, into the 200, the 300, the uh, 500, the million, that is still not enough for you so that you keep doing those actions, you still keep following up on those calls, you keep following up on those uh, meetings and all of those things you are doing because in your subconscious you haven't arrived because your financial thermometer is that high so i hope now you begin to understand those concepts especially if you're in the realm and the region of looking to actually amass vast fortunes or or achieve you know um, financial freedom beyond what you're currently getting you need to start breaking through those mindset you know understanding that either creating wealth or the beliefs that you have about it either need to change in order for you to break through uh, those and also if your financial thermometer is set low you need to have that consciousness that now you need to change you know that financial thermometer raise it up and leave your subconscious to take care of the how because that's when you get to notice things that are happening around you and uh, uh, the opportunities that are around you and you get to take them because it's now taking you on that journey to achieve you that um big or high financial thermometer that you've now set uh, yourself up. So I hope you go out there, 
experience, learn and grow and begin to understand those beliefs that are in you and if you need to change them in order to bring yourself up beyond your current financial thermometer, then you need to uh, develop that plan and start taking those actions because it's all about actions in order for you to break through, uh, to break through and get to where you need to be. So um, until next time, I hope you go out there, experience, learn and grow and cheerio. Thank you.